So guys, it's quite the known fact that the military is the number one stressful job in the US. But why? I'm gonna help you figure out why. So for this video, we'll be doing the top five reasons why the military is the most stressful. Starting with number five, being separated from your family. Whether you, like, you, like, you're not in good terms with your family or you are in good terms with your family, it is pretty stressful being separated from them. Like, for example, for me, I haven't seen my family in like a year and a half, I think. It's been a little minute. And it definitely is kind of stressful because you just don't see them all the time. You're used to like seeing them almost every day to not seeing them at all. And it can definitely be pretty stressful for some people. Some people are having the worst than others, but just not being away from your family. And say, for example, if you get deployed, you're not around your family at all. You like, you know, you see other people out and having with their families and stuff like that, but you're not with yours. So that can definitely be a big stress factor, especially for a lot of people. Number four, depending on your job in the military, some people have jobs that are more hazardous or more risky than others. And like, for example, you can put other people's lives in danger or even your own, which you know, that's already a big stress factor. Cause whenever you put your own life or somebody else's life in danger, you can be super stressed about that. For example, like me, I fix jets. For example, if I like do something wrong or I mess something up, that's potential loss that you can lo like lose. So it's kind of like one of those things where, like, if you're not good at like being able to handle stress in that situation, like, oh no, I gotta make sure I do this correctly, I gotta make sure I do this right. And then just other jobs where it's like, especially for jobs like, I can't speak in this, but like Marines or like Army, like infantry or like that, like I can only imagine that can be like crazy, crazy stress. Just because of the fact of like, that's just a whole different story. But me and Air Force, it still can be pretty stressful. That's why I say military in general, all military can be stressful, but like depending on your job, you can definitely have a lot of stress, guys. A lot of stress in that factor. That is a big reason why, you know, depending on what job you pick in the military, can depend on how stressed you'll be. Some people might not be as stressed, other people can be way stressed because they don't want to mess anything up in the job. So that's number four. Number three, this one's a huge one and everybody kind of knows it, being deployed at any moment. Just the fact that somebody can tell you right now, Huggins, boom, you're deployed. You're really gone for like six months, maybe even longer, four to six months. To, you don't even know the time period most times until they tell you. So like, just the fact that they can just up you and take you and you know, you might be somewhere in the desert where it's hot, you might be somewhere else. You can get deployed at any moment and that kind of causes into like the number five where it's like you're away from your family, you know, you're not around them at all times or even just like, you know, you're away from your friends that you make at base and stuff like that. They won't be acting around you. So like that can definitely be pretty stressful for like some people, you know, you get deployed. Some people love it. Some people are like, I can't wait to deploy. I want to like, you know, get the experience. Other people are like, ah, I don't know if I want to deploy yet. So yeah, definitely just the fact that like at any moment they can be like, boom, you're gone and you're deployed. So. You gotta be prepared for that. And that can be really, really stressful for some people, just the fact of like moving them at a second's notice and then they're just in a whole new environment. Starting with number two, the military is a 24 hour job. And what I mean by that is, I go to work for 12 hour shifts, right? But when I get off work, I'm still in the military. So you still gotta follow the rules, the regulations. So if I were to go out base and do something dumb, I'm in trouble on the military side and the civilian side. So what I mean like, and then you're portraying the military no matter what you do, even within my YouTube channel, like there's a reflection of the military. Cause if I was just on here like doing bad stuff, my supervisors would see that and I could get in trouble. So when I say military is a 24 hour job, you have to think of everything you do even after you finish with work. So you can't just, you know, ah, oh, I'm finished with work and then just go do something dumb. So it's definitely when I say that, that can be pretty stressful for some people. Some people like, you know, once you get off work, you're off work, you do what you want. But the military is like, if I get off work and they call me back in, I have to go right back in. You know, it's no, I don't think I feel like it today. So the military can definitely be stressful in that aspect of, you know, you feel like you're always being watched, if that makes sense. Because you're like, you know, you gotta present that professional image. And that's like part of joining the military, that's what you sign up for though. So I'm not like saying these in any way to make you guys be like, oh, you know, like, oh, I'm just complaining because no, I'm not complaining, I'm just being like truthful. It can definitely be stressful for some people. Not really too much for me, but for other people, you know, when they get off work, they're like, I wanna be off work and then, you know, they're still portraying the military. So you gotta watch that. All right, and before we hit number one, guys, 100%, something I, I, saw, I used to always do in my videos, guys. I don't know why I stopped doing it. You guys need to hydrate. I don't know why you haven't been hydrating, guys. I know you, you've been lacking. Make sure you hydrate, guys. Hydration is super important. Keep some, see that flex? Wait, one second, let me do my right arm. Yes, sir. More camera. Guys, hydration keeps you in key. Make sure y'all, you guys are hydrated. Worrying about you guys. Drink some water. All right, and now on to number one. That's good. Number one, 
And these are not in no particular order, so don't think that I'm like ranking these as the five hardest things because for different people, stress is different ways. Some people are more stressed about family, some people are more stressed about you not know, being deployed. Number one is, you're required to be fit. So what I mean by that is, it's like, if you join the Air Force, you have to be in a certain shape and you have to uphold that shape. So you have the PT test, which is physical testing or physical, yeah, I said it right. So you have the PT test and you literally have to stay in shape. So if you like, you know, you wanna get off work and just go wolf down donuts, you can, but you gotta keep yourself in enough shape to pass that, you know, that mile and a half run, the, you know, push up test and the sit ups. So you definitely gotta stay in shape for the military. You can't like just, you know, do your own thing, which kind of sucks. Cause you know, a lot of times you like, you have to be conscious a lot of times of what you're doing. All times, me, I've always been helping that. I kind of want to, you know, I want to keep getting the gains. I want to get bigger. But for other people, some people just kind of want to, you know, I don't really care, like, you know, how I look, as long as I can just, you know, live life happy. So that's what some people think. And so some people want to do it like that, which makes sense. You do you. So it's like, if people want to just be, you know, happy and child, you can't really just sit around, like, you know, relax and just eat what you want and stuff. You have to, you know, remember the Air Force standards and be like, at the end of the day, no matter what I consume or no matter what I eat or drink, I have to still be able to pass that PT test. So for some people that can be super stressful, just the fact of knowing that, you know, I have to be in well enough shape to pass this test, and if I don't pass, I can get in trouble. Like, ugh. It's definitely one of those, like, uh, you don't want to fail that test. So for some people, you know, you gotta find it within to find the power to uh, get the gains, even if you don't want the gains, and uh, work out. So yeah, guys, that is the top five stressful things in the Air Force and military in general, not just the Air Force, but definitely military in general. And like I always say guys, make sure you hydrate. Thanks for watching. Love you guys, stay safe. Until next video guys, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.